If you want your singing voice to instantly sound better, maybe even better than you actually are, without putting in a whole lot of effort and without having had years of vocal training, then what you need to do is play around with different tones and dynamics throughout your song. And today's exercise is gonna show you just how to do that. Hey singers, it's Lara with Vox Save Studios where we help singers unlock their full potential through private coaching, group classes, and online courses. Having choices is the biggest thing that sets great singers apart from amateurs. So if you wanna not sound like an amateur anymore and you wanna sound like you actually know what you're talking about and you sound pretty darn good whenever you sing, then this is an absolute must for you. In today's exercise, we're gonna be singing pretty much exactly the same phrase four times in a row, but in four different registers and tones. We're gonna start out with a breathy voice, some people would also call that a falsetto, then head voice, then a mixed voice, and then chest voice. So we're gonna sing it in four different registers and in four different tones. We're not adding a whole bunch of vibrato and riffing and a whole bunch of other vocal embellishments. That would be a whole different exercise. So today we're gonna just focus on the tones and the registers that you're gonna sing this exercise in. And for today's exercise, I chose the song Cry Me A River by Justin Timberlake. So let's have a look at how the exercise goes. So this first time through, you're singing it on a breathy voice. If you're struggling to get into a breathy voice, sigh. <sighs> Cry. 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 Here, we're singing it in a head voice, okay? So don't get too loud just yet, but this is definitely a connected voice, not breathy anymore. Here we're getting a little bit more powerful, right? So this is in a mixed voice now where we blend the head and the chest voice together. And the last one is a belt in a true chest voice. So no blending, no nothing, just full on belting. As you can hear in this exercise, I did a whole bunch of notes bending, like that's sliding and scooping. So if you wanna do that, feel free to go ahead and do it. I just love the sound of it and it fits the music really well. All right, let's do the exercise. Ready? Take a good breath here.
side. Well done. How did it go? Were you able to sing it in four different kind of ways? The same phrase, four different ways. Why is this helpful? Well, for example, if you're singing a song, usually the chorus happens at least three times. If we sing the chorus exactly the same way three times, it might get a little bit boring. So the first chorus, you might want to sing a little bit softer, quieter. And the last chorus, you're going to go full out so that it's not all the same. And this is going to make you sound so much better, like you know exactly what you're doing without a whole lot of effort, quite frankly. If you feel like you just open up a whole can of worms of possibilities, pretty much, and you're like, oh my gosh, what else can I do with my voice to make myself sound incredible without a whole lot of effort? Then I'd love to invite you to schedule a trial lesson with one of our amazing coaches at Vox Safe Studios because they can show you the world of possibilities. <laughs> Check out these videos next for some more vocal exercises and don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this exercise helpful. Thank you so much for practicing with me and I'll see you in the next one.